All right, so if you're brand new to the remote sales game and you wanna learn how to actually find companies that will hire you and pay you 10, 15, $20,000 a month and beyond, I'm gonna give you everything you need in this video. So no need to go anywhere else, I got you covered. Let's jump into it. We're gonna cover three main things in this video that if you implement, you're gonna be ahead of every single other remote sales rep in the industry right now and ones that are even thinking about doing it. So grab a sheet of paper, write down these three things. The first thing we're gonna cover is the untapped place to find these companies that you can interview with and no one's talking about this. Number two is how to reach out to these companies with the exact script that we use. And number three, the solution to one of the biggest problems as to why people just don't get placed with these higher level companies. And if you stay with me to the end, I'll give you a bonus secret of how to find even more of these companies that are already doing millions of dollars a month and have no problem paying you the big bucks. So let's go ahead and jump into the first part here. And this is going to be an untapped way that no one has talked about how to find high ticket closing clients. And I actually like this way probably the best out of all that we've talked about because it answers one of the questions that you need to ask to get hired and actually get paid a good amount. It gets answered before you even reach out to the company. So what is that thing? When you are working as a high ticket remote closer or an appointment setter, you want the company to give you inbound leads, right? You don't want to be an outbound salesperson where you reach out to cold prospects prospects, you're you know, trying to find your own leads and things like that and convince them they need to move forward. No, that's not it at all. For this to actually work, you need to make and hit that true income potential. You need to work with a company that's already paying for advertising. They're already paying hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a day to generate leads. So using this method will guarantee almost all the time because they're running these ads, it'll guarantee that they're already doing that and it'll make your job a lot easier when you start working with a company. So I'm gonna jump over to Facebook. I'm gonna show you exactly what we're talking about. So if you interact with enough businesses on Facebook, which you might have to uh, you know, do a little bit of searches and find some online businesses before you can actually do this because Facebook's gonna get used to you actually interacting with ads. But what you can see here is I just scrolled for like one second basically and I found this person right here. Now this is Master Filmmaker. They, I already know, are hiring full-time appointment setters and closers is because they're helping other video business owners do the same thing. So how do they get video business owners on the phone? Well, they have appointment setters and closers that go in and close for them. So this is a really easy way for you to find companies. So Master Filmmaker, for example, what I would do and an easy way that you can double check uh, that they are going to be primed for appointment setters and closers is you can open up um, click the little learn more button on their ad and what will happen it'll bring you up to a landing page where we've talked about this method all the time is usually it's going to lead them to a free video or workshop or vsl if i click this they're going to ask for name phone number and email so guess what all this information from the video business owners are going to be called by an appointment setter and then closed by a closer so hopefully this is helping you see and put all this stuff together so what i would do is i would save this page and uh, you can do some pretty easy outreach on these clients. So you can even go to this person's page. You can open this link in a new tab as well. I'll talk to you guys in part three of a really easy way to keep track of all this stuff. But here we go. Perfect idea here is you find their email and you send them an email. You send them a message on this Facebook page. It's literally giving you direct access to all the information that you need to start to connect with these business owners. And again, they're running a lot of advertisement. So usually that's a pretty good sign that they're doing well within their business. And it gives you an opportunity to reach out to the companies that are already investing in themselves. So that's just one example of an ad. But what I can do here is I can keep scrolling down and obviously I'm gonna see some personal posts, some you know posts from friends, that type of stuff. And here we go. And you would do the same thing. You would open this up in a new tab. You would reach out to them, send a message to their Facebook page, do all the stuff that I'm gonna teach you in point number two. I am gonna give you one other way to find some of these companies, just I'm trying to give you as much value in this video. And also, uh, I don't know if that, if that doesn't deserve a like, then I don't know what does. So what you're gonna do is go to uh, Google and you're gonna type in Facebook ad library. So you're gonna open it up here and it's gonna bring you to this page. Now, this is a really easy way for you to find offers that you could be interested in. So think about something you're interested in, make it, whether it's, um, you know, real estate or, uh, you know, Airbnb could be an example, or maybe crypto or whatever it is. Um, you can search for other people and businesses that are running ads so that you can just reach out those, the, to those companies that you're already interested in. So for example, um, you would put here, I think this uh, isn't already checked here, but you would do all ads. And then I can type in, uh, something like Airbnb coaching, for example. So if I search up Airbnb coaching, it's gonna bring me up a ton of Airbnb coaching offers. So these are people that are selling coaching offers to people to teach them how to uh, you know, rent on Airbnb. This is a great example. I can open up this person's page and do a little bit of research. You know, they're obviously they're running ads. So let's, uh, you know, let's look at their funnel. If I come here, it looks like they have their little funnel here so I can opt in and guess what? I click this button. They have their name, phone number, and email that we put in. Guess who's calling those? The appointment setters and the closers are going 
to close them down. And I mean, this guys, this is just so easy. You want to put down their email, their phone. I would say though, I wouldn't recommend reaching out to the people that I'm going over on this video because this video is probably gonna get like 100,000 views over the next 12 months. And uh, they're just gonna be getting slammed and they probably aren't gonna accept uh, all the 100,000 people that are applying. So keep that in mind. So not to be super redundant, but you can literally use this strategy to find hundreds, if not thousands of companies that are actively running ads for you to reach out to. So now that we've found some of these companies, let's jump to number two, which is absolutely crucial to getting placed as an appointment setter or closer in 2023 and beyond. Now, a lot of these other videos on YouTube are saying you can just send this copy and paste message, but we're throwing out the boring copy and paste message outreach, and we're gonna throw in what is called the one minute video in your video outreach. It's in the name, it's exactly how it sounds. You're gonna record a one minute video on your phone, vertical style, you're gonna set it to the prospects that we found in step number one. So you might be saying, Aaron, why should I send a video instead? Well, this is going to be your surefire way to stand out as a potential setter or closer for that company because it cuts through the noise and it gets away from all these copy and paste messages they're getting multiple times a day, every single day anyway. It also adds a piece of curiosity to the business owner because instead of going through and seeing these copy and paste messages, they can say, hmm, well, this person sent me a selfie video. I wonder what they're saying. And it makes them almost force them to open the video. And it's also gonna give them an idea and a vibe of exactly how you present yourself on camera. I mean, you're gonna be a part of their sales team, which is gonna show up on Zoom calls, showing up on video conferences. So if you can't even sell yourself with a one minute video, then how are they gonna believe in you to sell their offer for their company? So on screen, I'll put a pretty easy plug and play template you can use for your one minute video. First things first, your introduction. Second, you have your track record and how it applies to the role you're applying for. Number three is using your network. And number four, what you're looking for and make sure to benefit the business. So let's break these down really quickly. Introduction, of course, you just give your name, who you are, where you're from, that type of thing. I wouldn't go too deep into it. Just literally say, my name is, insert your name here. Now your track record and how it applies to your role. So here's the thing. Some people always ask, you know, do I need experience? Can I do it without experience? The thing is, is you wanna be able to leverage anything that's happened in the past with you that you can use to then spin into how it could apply to you working as an appointment setter or a closer. So for example, I worked in a restaurant for like five years and the way that I spun that when I was just getting into the industry is I sold it that like, hey, I don't have any experience, but I've worked in the restaurant for a really long time. I know how customer service works and I can build a rapport with people really quickly, which means I can, you know, do the same thing on a sales call. So let's say you've worked in management or you worked a specific type of job, or you think whatever job you've done in the past can relate to the position, use that, spin it in any way that you can. Now using your network, this is going to apply more for people that let's say are already in the industry, or let's say you're in RCA, for example, we have a certification program where if you say that you're certified from the Remote Closing Academy, you are nine times out of 10, a lot more likely to get placed because every high ticket company in the industry knows the Remote Closing Academy and Cole Gordon. Now, if you wanna use it, if you're watching this YouTube channel, I guess you could by saying, hey, I'm subscribed to the Remote Closing Academy YouTube channel. They have a ton of sales training on there. I have really dug deep and just wrote notes and, and studied the content. And I really think that'll help me in this role. You can say something like that. And the last piece here is what you're looking for. You don't wanna look at this as like, I want to make more money and I wanna be able to travel. I wanna be able to blah, 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 right? That doesn't tie it back to the business. You want to, yes, say what you're looking to get out of it, but also how that benefits the business. So for example, so you might say something like, hey, so I, you know, I'm looking to transition into this lifestyle because I believe that I can do really well on the phones and help you guys reach more people and create a bigger impact and also being able to provide more for my family and then also in turn be able to provide more for the business because I have more time because I'm doing this remotely. Something along those lines. So I'll record an example for you of something that I can do off the cuff. Another quick tip, if you don't have sales experience or experience at all, I would just be transparent with that. These companies are going to appreciate the transparency and then also you talking about how you're gonna put in the work to make sure that you see success. They're gonna like that a lot more than uh, if you lie. So I got my phone, let's do an example. Hey, what's going on? My name is Aaron Martinez and I saw your job posting on the Facebook ad. Wanted to reach out really quickly and say, if you're looking for a closer, I could be your guy. So just really quickly about me, I've been in the online space for a little bit over six months at this point. Um, not a ton of high ticket experience, just being straight up, but I have worked in a, uh, a restaurant for about five years at this point. So I know how to meet people really quickly, build rapport really quickly. And I think that will translate super, super well into a job as an appointment setter or a closer for your company. Now, overall, you know, again, my network in terms of the people that I know, um, I've been following this YouTube channel called the Remote Closing Academy for a really long time. Um, they focus a lot on sales and really off the methodology of Cole Gordon, if you know who that is, um, sales trainer in the industry. And uh, I believe I've taken a lot from that, um, from that channel. 
Um, overall, you know, I'm looking for an opportunity like this because it allows me to, you know, obviously make more income, provide for my family, but I really believe in the mission that you guys have behind your company of helping more people actually create that income as well. So, you know, the more that I can make sales, the better that I get, the more people that I can help and not only help more people, but help you build your company as well. So all that being said, I uh, would love to have an interview. If you uh, have any questions, anything, shoot it back to me here and look forward to hear from you. Thanks so much. Bye. And a little off the cuff, but that's a one minute video. So now that you know where to find these companies and how to reach out to them, let's talk about one of the biggest pitfalls when it comes to where most people are held back when it comes to finding a remote sales gig. Most of the time it has not really anything to do with how the person reaches out or what they say, because I mean, I literally gave you all of that in this video, but it has to do more with the volume or the amount of business owners that the person is reaching out to. But Aaron, how many people do I reach out to? How many is enough? Well, I'd argue to say that there's never really going to be enough. You know, I've shown multiple people of videos and podcasts on this channel that are doing 20, 30, $50,000 as remote sales reps, but they also did the outreach to find the diamond in the rough. So here's a test. If reaching out to 100 businesses sounds like it's too much to you, I don't want to say just uh, probably stop watching this video. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, if you think this is another get rich quick type of thing, um, we don't want you here. Okay, so now that they're all gone and the true hustlers are left, I want to show you this resource that can help you in your outreach methods and really just stay organized. So guys, I can't stress enough how important step number three here is in your success of finding high ticket jobs. Some people will start and they'll reach out to five people or 10 people or 20 people and they say, well, this isn't working. Let me move on to the next thing. But that just means they're on to the next shiny object. So if you check out my screen here, I put together, if you click down in the description, there's going to be a link where you can actually access this exact spreadsheet. I made it for you. Take it, do your outreach. Um, and yeah, enjoy. So here's what you would do is you want to keep track of the amount of people that you're reaching out to, how many times you're following up. Follow up is extremely, extremely important. And also how many you're doing, right? This helps you understand because when you get into the weeds of everything, sometimes it feels like, oh my gosh, I've reached out to so many companies. But if you look back at your sheet and you see, oh, actually I've only reached out to like five companies, <laughs> then obviously it's not as much and you're not going to get to the point where you want to unless you do more. On this sheet, what I have here, and I'll just move this over just a little bit. Um, what I have here to, for you to track is you do the company that you're reaching out to, the funnel or the website of the person, um, their email you can re reach out to, Facebook, Instagram, and other. So let's say they have uh, WhatsApp or some some other place you can reach out. And then I have, uh, these all say F U one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are follow-ups. So let's just fill this out together and I'll show you how to use this. So let's say you do want to reach out to a master filmmaker. So all you do, is you can just do it like I'm doing here and you would copy paste stuff over. So you have Master Filmmaker, you have their website. So actually their email is right here. So it literally just put their email over here. You have their Facebook that you can reach out to as well. And then you have, I mean, their Instagram isn't on here. So you could even put just NA if you want to. Their funnel on a website. You have their, uh, you have their thing right here, which I think is just open over here. And this is the website. So now you have all the information that you need. And all you do is you open up their Facebook, you send them the, the one minute video that I just uh, told you guys about you, you know, you send them an email, send them the email, the video in the email there as well. Find them on Instagram, because I'm sure they have an Instagram, um, find another mode of communication and just make sure that when you send all that follow up, you click a check. If you don't hear anything back from the, that company, well, guess what, you go back to them and say, Hey, John, or Hey, whatever name this this case, uh, hey, Eric, just wanted to reach out really quickly. Not sure if you saw my above message, but would love your thoughts on what you think, right? And then guess what? You hit follow-up number two, follow-up number three, follow-up number four. And I promise you guys, if you fill out this sheet with a hundred companies and you do the follow-up all the way down to eight, even 10 even, I guarantee you, you are going to find a job. I'll put my money on the line. I will bet you, you watching this video, a thousand dollars. If you do fill out this sheet and you can prove me you did it, I will send you a thousand dollars. I don't even care message me, send me an email, Aaron Martinez at Closers and the Leaders. Because the thing is, I promise you, if you do this outreach and you follow the things that we've talked about on this channel, you will find a gig that will pay you anywhere from five to $50,000 a month. There's just a very small chance that if you actually do the work, that you're not going to see the results from that. So Jeff, put a disclaimer on the screen. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but if you do fill this out and you don't get a job, I'll personally send you a thousand dollars. And while we're here on my computer, I'm just going to give you the bonus tip that I talked about at the beginning of the video and just give you a ton more people to find and reach out to that could fit these same parameters. 
So this thing that ClickFunnels puts on, I've talked about them in the past, but ClickFunnels is a community where if you use their software and you make a million dollars, you get what is called the Two Comma Club Award. You've probably seen it in other people's ads and videos and things like that. So what this signifies is that these people have actually made a million dollars in their business and are probably still actively doing it. So you can see these people that are on here, they have, you know, this person has done a million, this person, this person. If you just reach out to the people that have already proven that they're doing a million dollars, there's a good chance they're putting money in advertising. There's a good chance that they're looking to scale their business to the next two comma club and then the next comma club and the next all the way up to the hundred million award that they have. I know there's not really a ton of other people that are doing this. So you can find these coaches, use the exact same one minute video strategy. You can send them a, a message on Instagram, just send them a, you know, a DM, send them and maybe like a couple of their pictures. Um, stay consistent and then more importantly, follow up. So another untapped way for you to find some companies to reach out to. All right, at this point, you have everything to find and reach out to these companies and get interviews. But I wanna show you another video where you're 100% going to need this if you don't wanna waste your time, money, resources and finding the right jobs and just the right questions you have to ask when you have these interviews. So check out the video on screen. It's gonna go over five of the things you need to know and the questions you need to ask. Check it out. See you on the other side.